Hello scholars at home. Welcome back to our e-learning classes. Our subject now is social studies. Social studies. And our topic for this third week is advantages of saving money and other valuable things in the bank. Advantages of saving money and other valuable things in the bank. Advantages of saving money in the bank. Let's see. One, safety papers. One of the reasons why we save money in the bank is for safety, all right? Because when we have huge amounts of money and we keep it at home, there's every tendency that arm robbers might come and take it, okay? So for that money to be saved, we'll keep it in the bank. Number two, yield interest. Yes, when we keep money in the bank, as months goes by, it yields interest. It yields little, little interest. Okay, yeah, so that's one of the reasons why people like to go and save in the bank so that they can get more money on top as an added to their money. Three, privacy. Yes, when you keep the money in the bank, nobody will know how much you have. Okay, yes, and anytime you want to withdraw it, you go and withdraw your money. So for privacy, all right, it's only you that will have access to your money. Then let's see disadvantages of saving money or saving things in the bank. Why people don't like going to the banks, all right? Let's see, one, time wasting. Yes, we know that going to the bank wastes a lot of time, okay? Especially when you need money urgently, okay? So when you think of the time you go to the bank and queue in the line to get your money, feel, you feel tired, so people say, okay, let me keep my money at home so that anytime I want to use, I'll just quickly go and use it. Then number two, certain conditions must be met. Yes, there are certain conditions that must be met before you can open an even account in the bank. Like you must have your national ID card, you must have a passport, you must have either a driving license, all those conditions that must be met. You must be up to social age or something, okay? So these are those conditions. Maybe make some people feel tired of going to save money in the banks. Number three, required required requires being educated to fill documents yes if you want to open an account it requires you being educated to open you know to fill some documents like some of our age parents who have money but maybe because of these conditions or these requirements that they must fill one or two things they will say, I don't know how to write, I don't know how to read. How will I know what is written there? So they will be tired of going to the banks. So, but if, if you are educated, it will be very easy for you to save, to go to the bank and save your money. All right? So let's see solution to these problems that discourages people from going to the bank. So that people can be going to the bank all the time. All right? One, training for efficient work. The banks must make sure that their staffs are well trained, okay? They must be well trained to assist people in doing these things, all right? If they are trained and they are efficient in their work, people will love going to the bank because they will know that when they get here, people are there to assist them. Number two, use of modern gadgets, equipment, e.g. computers, counting machines, all right? Banks must make sure that they are using modern gadgets, like computers, yes, most of the banks now, or they they do use these modern equipment, all right? So it's very easy to check how much somebody has saved for the whole year, or even years back, all right? Because everything is documented in the system. When you know that your money is saved and everything is in the system, anytime, any day, you can go to your bank, all right? Yes, humility. The banks must make sure that they employ staff who are humble, who are humble, who will not, you know, be insulting people. You cannot feel your, you cannot even write your name. You cannot feel your age. You, look, what are you, what is that? You know, no. Banks don't need such people. So they will have much more customers. They need to employ people who are humble. All right? That's humility. Patience. Banks must em employ staffs who are, who are patient. So that when they see elderly ones, they can be able to assist them in filling those forms. In meeting up those requirements and conditions. So all these things are what the banks ought to do. And when it's done, all these
those conditions that when it's done, people will be happy and be free to come to the bank, whether they are old or young, all right? So they will not be, you know, feeling somehow going to the bank. All right, so these are the solutions to these problems. Okay, these are homework, all right? These two advantages of saving in the bank. Mention two advantages of saving in the bank. Mention one reason why people don't go to the bank or don't like going to the bank. Like we said here, time wasting, the condition that must be met, required to be indicated. So pick one here and give us here. Thank you very much.